name is Cece. I'm currently 17 years old. Um, I'll be 18 in six months and either 10 or 9 days from now. Um, and this is my life story. Um, to start off, I have a wonderful life. From, from when I was born to now, I have had the most wonderful family ever. At the age of 13 and 14, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and my life has changed completely after that. It's all about lectures and how I need to keep my blood sugars up and well down if they go up I, I'll basically I'll lose some of my limbs if my sugar gets any higher and I'll probably go into shock and I hopefully I pray to God that doesn't happen um I live with my brother and my sister and shout out to them I love them very much even though I don't show it to them sometimes I love my mom I live with her I live with my father I might not show that I love my father but I do I, I show my mom I love her all the time and I have the most amazing friends that supports me every day but let's start let's skip all that and start from the beginning sort of back when I was in f first grade um I that's when I first started getting bullied and I first went to the counselor for the first time I didn't know what to do I knew there was people that could help me but I just knew I was different in some way if you can say that um I was bullied up till I was in fifth grade the bullying stopped when I was in six um that's when I met I start meeting the amazing well I didn't start I didn't start meeting the amazing amazing friends I have now until se second grade and I love them very much they they um they stayed with me they stayed by me even though sometimes I didn't talk because I didn't talk as much but they still supported me and they still cared for me so I'm very grateful for that. When I was in sixth grade, I met I met my best my ride or die best friend. She sticks with me, and I love her for it. In seventh grade, that's when I got my first real boyfriend. I'm not gonna say his name, but I don't like him anymore. Just to tell you, he's dead to me. All he's dead to me because. I found out by my best friend that he's been cheating on me um, behind my back and I didn't know about it. Me and him broke up before the school year ended that year and I thought I wouldn't be able to find someone after that. I thought I wouldn't be cared for and, but I, no one would care about me, no one would like me, but I realized that I do have someone who loves me, and it's the friends and family I, I surround myself with. So, in eighth grade, <laughs> every, oh, and that's also when I met a new friend in seventh grade. That's also when I met a new friend. Well, it was more of eighth grade than seventh grade, but, um, she she did um, she did a thing that she's not proud of but she but she did it just to help my ride or die best friend 
And I'm ha- I'm actually happy that she's in my life. She went to jail for what she did, and I love her for it. Now, in ninth grade, ninth grade, um, I saw one of my I started seeing one of my fifth grade besties. She invited me over. She invited me over her house. It was amazing. I'm then. That's when I met my love, my love, my life, and I'm grateful for him. His shout out to him because he's awesome. We went out for a little bit. After I left my best friend Des, after I left her house, um, I told my best friend about him, and. So she decided she decided that me we should prank him, but I didn't know how far she would take it. So she by pranking him, she said that I was pregnant by someone else. This is a, what I'm telling you was a prank, so don't take it the wrong way. Um. So we pranked him by saying that I was pregnant by someone else and I was cheating on him, and all that such. But once the prank was over. He did the most weird thing. It was horrible. I never thought that would happen. Um, he broke up with me for what my best friend did. And I haven't talked after that. I guess I forgot about it. And I started loving everyone that I had around me. <laughs> and it was amazing. Now it's 10th grade year, first semester, my best friend from, my other best friend from 8th grade, she got out of jail, she's back, she's back with me, I met some new amazing people, um, Jake, Jasmine, I love them so much, Daniel, Denial, (laughs) I like calling him Denial, I don't know why, but I still have my raw dad best friend, Aaliyah. And then Brittany, then my best friend, her name is Brittany. I love her very much. She came back. I missed her. We had a reunion. Then, um, with Aaliyah and her boyfriend Daniel, everything for them started heading south. Like, pro- like rumors started spreading around about Aaliyah saying that she's a gold digger and all that such. And she's not. Daniel and her broke up. They, they're they now broken up now. But they're like acquaintances. Like they talk but they're not, but they're not friends I guess. There's, there's, I don't know what you want to call it but they're associates. Um, and then the problem started with Jake and Jasmine. And they're broken up, but they say it's comp- their relationship is complicated. And now it comes to now, me, Brittany, and Aaliyah, we got into fight. Some lies came up about Brittany that were not true, I guess. They made up, though. They're friends again. We're all friends again. We're all fine. And I found out Brittany was engaged. The love of her life, and so in January, I didn't tell anyone this, but me and my love of my life got back together, and it's now April. We now have been together for three months, and it's been the best three months of my life. I love him very much. <laughs> Just saying, don't, 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 don't judge me. Okay, he's mine. All you girls out there, he's mine. His name's Carlos. He, I love him very much. He cares for me. He would never, ever hurt me. If he did, I'm sending a gun after him. Like my brother and my dad and my cousins. I'm sending them out to get him if he hurts me. But yeah. Um, yeah, up until now, my life's been great. I, I have people I love. My friends, my family, my boyfriend. And my birthday's coming up. I'll be 18. I'll be a junior next year. 
yeah, my life is great and I love it very much. And I just wanted to put that out there. Just make it simple. But I just want to add this one thing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm just throwing this in. I know this is my life, but this, yeah, me talking about it, my life story, it's over. But I'm going to say this. If you haven't been subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn on my post notification, and like this video. And I will see you next time. Peace!